He already in the winner's finals. This is winner's finals. Best of five. R2 D Lu versus Stango. This newly David sponsored by Smash Studios. Decided to come to the lab today. Yeah, he got, got a ride from one Johnny F. Gamble and uh, decided to be worth making it out. Ninth place Masters Holt! Wait, are we are we the ninth place Masters? We are the ninth place that? Masters Ooh, Holt. I didn't even know I got ninth. I, that's higher than I thought I got. Man. Anyway, into the match that has anyway. started. It looks like Stango took that first stop clean. You know, Vikram gave me 20 to 1 odds for that David would win. David would win. Yeah. If, if Stango won, I would get $1. If Vikram won, yes. or if David won, Vikram would get 20. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, and did you take that? No, because really? I know the whole meme is Sango's like twenty-two and zero against yeah, David. He's legal to drink with it with his. Uh, <laughs> it's legal to drink with his plus minus. It yeah, sets on David. Exactly. Um, but I don't know, David. I if if, if any player would do it today, if any player would do it ever at this point, I think it's fair to say it would be David. You know. You know, they, you could call him a student of the game, but of course, we've all been to school. There are many different kinds of students. Uh, Dave, definitely one of the more studious types. Go home, has to study a couple hours. Stango, just naturally gifted. Uh, just the, the student that doesn't have to try, gets good grades. And Dave, oh, you know Dave hates him. Oh. We definitely have some oh. schoolyard rivalry oh, yes. going Dave, on here. Dave despises the fact that he, were, he knows he works so much more harder exactly. than, than Stango does. Than the prodigy that is young Smash Studios Stango. And uh, showing why his first seat tonight up a full stock here in game one of a winner's I, I don't finals. Know. All right. That's yeah, that's that's game one. I don't know. He was getting a lot of those early ass ki early kills off of off of back throw, off stage, do Marth sword things. It was that's how he got his first kill. That's how he that's how he got his last kill. I think David is pressuring him too much when he's by the edge, and he's being unsafe about it. And the more Sango's, he Sango's just scooping him up. Yeah, yeah, the, just scooping him up. A little Marth grab, tossing him back. And he's so he's so he's so consistent yeah. at making sure foxes don't get back. Yeah, and even if you know. The more opportunities he has, there's only four stocks in the game. If he has 20 opportunities and he only capitalizes four times, he still capitalizes four times he needed to win. Yeah, you only need four. Yeah, well, exactly. So even if his percent rate, which it isn't, it is low where Stango's is high, mm -hmm. he just needs a couple opportunities. Yeah. Ooh, gets there. A real quick pivot, and he's on What do you leg. think of this counter pick choice? It's best of five, so there were no bans. It's David off in go Dreamland. I think it's it makes a lot of sense. This is where Fox's... Like to, you, you're giving me a look like you don't agree. Well, okay, so so Marth's also ha have a mixed opinions about this. Stango likes it, but here's the reason why. It's because he has all the neutral in the world that he wants. He has so much space to run around. He doesn't have the FD combos, but he's got the FD neutral. Now, yeah, he's yeah. not able to kill as early, especially because there's not a lot of gimps at the edge, and also the huge, huge blast zones. If you well, get hit from center stage, you're living, but well, you get neutral. Well, no, I think a good, a good thing that Sango still gets on the stage is his gimps at the ledge. There's more room for David to run around, but if David approaches by the ledge, it's the same as Battlefield. Yeah, it's yeah. It's the same as any Right, right, right here. Here he goes. He goes, he goes deep. Five percent. Oh, wait, no. Uh, he's still going. Percent. Oh, he. Ooh, side B. That was a really good immediate up B. Double shine. All right, coming up with the drill. And those, not great smash DI on that. But, uh, you know, this, this is one of the more contested stages in the matchup, whether or who really wins here. And um, if the Fox can win neutral, he should take it. He's got platforms to recover to, platforms to yeah. escape to, because uh, Marth needs to really commit to cover the top platform. All the room in the world to laser. Yeah, a lot of room to laser, but uh, against Marth, it, it can be fairly risky. Ooh, side Bs. Side Bs. Running shine. Got nothing off it, though. Yeah, didn't quite connect with the Nair afterwards. Smash yeah, he's full hop instead. Ooh, trying to scoop him up with a down tilt. F throw. Run off there. Not sure what that down tilt was. I think he was supposed to turn around. Cover. Okay. Side beat or cover to ledge, but he goes too deep, which is a problem that Marts who go deep tend to have. Sometimes they just go too deep. His recovery is not the best. Yeah, his side B is very limited in its usage. Like maximizing that is fairly simple, but it, there's just certain situations where even the, uh, the side B won't quite cut it. Ooh, I like the down smash. I I really like Marts down smash. I don't. Th I think it's starting to get used more. I think for a long time it wasn't used enough, but. Shine 
is a move been used since the beginning of competitive melee since shined blind by one zell goddess it has been around for a long time oh gets him with the up he goes super high on that up b and it connects all right so we, we got, got a tight inside. battle yeah. now if you're dave you don't want to get grabbed and also he gets grabbed because you uh, do not want to go down 2-0 yeah he checked in there he does not want to be by the ledge right now and he wants to try to stay as center of the same as possible but sango just carries him off and he drifts too far away the fear from that forward air just put, sometimes you don't need to hit sometimes you just need to act like you're gonna hit and they pull back and they miss the ledge it's an interesting game that we play because you know sometimes oh my god is he all right he's good walk up tipper uh um, tim davis you have sometimes you have to go for really difficult options because if you don't you will die like you'll make it back technically but the other character has the tools to kill you as i say it drill grab up throw up air a fox staple here on pokemon stadium i think dave david's con this game david's converting pretty well it's too up too up stango david's converting really well off of his drills those are two quick back-to-back -back drill grabs drill shine grabs he, well, he's recognizing when his drills are connecting in the proper way, because sometimes Stango smash the eyes behind, smash the yeah. eyes away. And, um, you know, something he's not really capitalizing on a whole lot this set is his shines. As I say, here comes one. Well, he's, he's doing better on him now, it looks yeah. like. Yeah. And he has the lead. I wonder if there's a correlation there. <laughs> oh, Ooh. my God. The lead? Where did it go? All right. Uh, he gets get back. Oh, but he gets the grab. Still in the punish. Carries him all the way across FD. Ooh. Sends him stadium and sends him back the other way. My gosh. <laughs> he said, I will finish what I started. You will go off of the right blast zone. <laughs> and That's what I intended originally. Back. Yeah, it was it was another tipper. He said it was all part of the master plan. You know, it's like final not final destination of the stage, but final destination of the movie. He says you're gonna get tippered, you are going to die. <laughs> Just because you have avoided me once, I will be back. And so he finds himself up one stock here in game three. And, ooh, this this is not looking good for David right now. A lot of up airs. He needs to get down. The good good soft back air to get down. That's a dead Marth. This is one stock. This is less than one stock. So it's obviously not a lead. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where, you, where your uh, train of thought was. All right, shortens a little shortens bit too much. Shortens too short. Was looking for that mid. Super hard to get. Oh, uh, real quick on that ledge grab. All right, yep, gets out there. Good shine. Oh, oh no, not the best. No. Stop. Oh, and what? Back. Tries to tech. Tries to tech and up B. That was a super scramble. I think that was Stengo going a bit too deep again. I mean, that was. A... But when you're when you got a lead and you have a oh punish game like gosh. that, it doesn't matter. No smash di in the world. I feel could get him oh, out of his up tilts. <sighs> he got caught twice with di in. He said, all right, this time I'll DI out. Marth, dude.